Relax, my viewers. Welcome to Super TV to Tarot and Sage Advice. Something's on my mind. Something's on my mind. Are you ready for me to share it? I hope you're ready to listen. It's 2.30 in the morning, my viewers, and I cannot sleep. I cannot sleep because I feel the energy of something on my left side, on my the left side of my head. It's penetrating the back left corner of my head behind my ear. It's a spirit. It's a strong Spirit, it's a soul, it's somebody's soul, it's strong. And it's like in the room, like the energy is like in the room around me. And it's very strong. And it will not leave me alone. This is Definitely for the collective. I'm lying here in the quiet energy of the darkness. Lying in bed and I feel hate. feel the spirit of hate, somebody's just disdain, just hate, just anger, like somebody's just angry, at the collective, it's, just, it's, it's all of us, all of you have somebody out there, I feel it, because it's too strong, I can't sleep, so I know it. It's too much. A lot of energy. And I feel that some of you feel someone hates you. It's like like they're mad at you. It's really strong. And I kept seeing in my third eye real clear like somebody just stabbing me in the back with a knife. I felt someone like taking a knife and just stabbing me in the back. A big knife, not a little one, but a really big knife. Big long knife. And as the knife went into the center of my back, Representing the center of my people's back. Because I know that's what that was representing. It represented a betrayal of some sort. A betrayal, a backstabbing. And the knife tried to go so deep. It went into the upper back, right below the neck. That it went down at least two and a half inches, really deep. And, and and I saw this hand holding it. And the person tried to pull the knife down the center of the back. Oh, that hurt. And they tried to pull it. But then I felt the spiritual energy of the universe, source, making the knife hot for some reason. I could feel it. The universe was making the knife hot. So, let me flip my pillow. 
the universe was making the knife really hot. And and I felt this, this spiritual energy around the knife. I saw the knife like it's like it it's like it heated up and became real hot. As this person drove it in and pulled it down the center of my back. And I said, well, Source, Great Spirit, why did you make the knife? I know that was your energy, Great Spirit. Why did you make the knife hot? Why'd you make it heat up like that? Because when the person went to put the knife in my back, the knife was cold. I get a cold chill thinking about it. When they put the knife in my back, it was cold. So, Great Spirit, why did you make the knife? Why did you apply heat to the knife that they were putting in my back? Because I could see the knife, see, see the heat. <sighs> So tired to feel at night. And I felt spirit say the reason why I applied heat to the knife was because I wanted to protect you from their chilly deliverance of the betrayal. I don't understand that. I don't. I don't understand that. I need you to. I need you to clarify that. I don't understand. And Great Spirit said, "The reason why the knife was delivered into your back, and I allowed it, was because I needed you to see that this person was." Betraying you. I needed you to see. Spiritually. In the spirit realm. That this person was betraying you. Just as you've suspected. But the reason why I heated up the knife. Great spirit said. Was because. There's life and warmth. Heat. Warmth and heat represent energy. And what I was hearing was, while they were delivering the knife into your back, and the knife was meant to be cold, which represents death. If a body is cold, it's dead. Anything that's cold, it, it doesn't really have a lot of life there. Not a lot of life form. I said, okay, I need you to elaborate more. I need more. And Great Spirit said, when I allowed them to deliver that knife into your back, I coated it with like a spiritual coating of heat. Because as the knife went in, what they did not realize, because Great Spirit said to me, they didn't realize it. I want you to realize it, but they don't see this. I'm allowing you to see it. They were actually pushing the knife into your back and pushing the heat into your body. Because it was coating the knife and they were actually delivering new life into you as they severed ties with you. I said, okay. I said, that was clever, Great Spirit. <laughs> that, that's clever. Great Spirit is clever. The universe is all knowing, omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent. Awesome, great, awesome power.
I said, oh, I see, I see, I see. And Grace Spirit said, they didn't see that. All they saw was the knife being delivered into your back, cold as they betrayed you. And they allowed that energy to cut you. And they meant it for harm. For anybody that reads the Christian Bible, this is scripture, what the devil means for bad, God means for good, something of that nature. And I got that, it, that, that kind of resonated for that moment. And it hit me. I allowed that knife to be cut, coated with heat. So as they delivered that cold knife into your back, I allowed the heat I allowed you to understand that what they were delivering was a cold betrayal, a cold stab in the back. But for you, it was cutting into your flesh and delivering warmth and new life. And I said, what do you mean? He said it was the ace of swords. It was the Ace of Swords. I said, okay. Which represents triumph. A new beginning. Reality. Clarity. Truth being delivered. By the way of a sword. I said, okay. So the warmth of the knife actually was delivering life into my flesh. The warmth was delivering a dose of life, a dose of reality. Anyone that watches to row you will find out eventually that the ace of swords is representative of a much needed surgery did my people hear that you didn't hear that my people ace of swords represents back surgery or dental surgery if it's the ace of swords, ace of swords reverse, it could be like a dental surgery. So if it's dental surgery, that ace of swords would represent a surgical procedure being done on your mouth. And if a surgical procedure is being done on your mouth, it's to correct a problem in the mouth. Was it so that my viewers could speak positively, to speak correctly? Was it so that my viewers could speak only that which, only of that which they wanted? Speak positive vibes, positive affirmations, and not to speak negatively, even of the person that betrayed them? And I got yes. The knife is meant to cut, to hurt, and to betray if it is used in the wrong way. And the reason why you were stabbed in the back, my viewers, by your person of interest is because there was a betrayal. A betrayal of your faith, a betrayal of your trust, a betrayal of your love. Some of you were used this is in direct contrast to the video that I did on someone desires you. I feel something different today. It feels more dark. It's so spirit, it's so that spirit can allow you. It's so that spirit can allow you to see that there was a betrayal of a person in your life 
that you may have loved very, very deeply. And you, you want, maybe you still want them. This is for a lot of you out there that still want someone that hurt you, used you, betrayed you, and put the knife there. And I, 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 just, I see that. Sorry, guys, I'm wearing a retainer. <laughs> it makes me talk. I wear my retainer for my teeth at night. <laughs> Of course, that makes me talk funny. I see that, my viewers, I feel like a five of swords energy where the person, after they put the knife in there and they meant for it to be a cold betrayal, a stabbing of the back, they took it, they pulled it out and took it with them. They walked away with the knife from their hand like the five of swords. They walked away with it. Still holding it. They just they walked away with it. Coldly, carelessly. Just like a dead feeling inside of them. Like they're they don't feel that love for you. It's like a dead feeling. It's like a like they shut off their feelings and emotions for you all together. It's like, I love when you love me, but I hate when you hate me. I hate it. I hate to use that word. I don't like to use that word, but I feel that right now. Like, oh, gosh, I hate when you hate me. It makes me hate myself. When you hate me, I don't. I hate myself. When you don't love me, I don't want to love myself. Have you ever felt when someone couldn't stand you, when they hated you, you could feel that a person did not like you. They, and they didn't have to touch you with their hand. Their energy, you could feel it. Ugh, you could feel the disdain and the animosity. You could feel the feel their energy from across the room. You could feel it. You could just see the look on their face. Almost they didn't like you. And you felt it in your spirit. You didn't have to be touched. You could feel it in your heart chakra. Your solar plexus chakra. You could feel it in your gut and it hurt. It made you sick. You felt that pang in your chest and that sick feeling in the pit of your stomach. That and it's, like, it's almost like it brings on the sadness, this depression. Oh, they don't like me. Hmm. Now I don't like me. I don't like me because you don't like me. So now I'm judging me based on you. It's the basis of Surgeries is the basis of, I told you, I felt like, like the ace of swords, surgeries, dental surgery and back surgery. It's the basis of cosmetic surgery. It's the basis of beautification and procedures and everybody's tweaking this and cutting that and losing weight and gaining weight and doing all these things to beautify themselves. Because you don't like me. I need you to like me. I need to. I don't like me not being liked. So. I got to do something to be liked. I like being liked. I don't like not being liked. It feels. I don't like me. When you don't like me. You not liking me affects how I like me. Now I hate myself because you hate me. 
I don't even want to look in the mirror. I hate how I feel about me because I need you to love me because then I'll start to love myself. And that's why Great Spirit said, that's why I let the knife go in so that you could see that there was a betrayal there. And you were basing your love for yourself on how that person loved you. So I coated that knife in warmth so that when they went in to cut you with their coldness, dull coldness I heated up the knife said great spirit so that the knife would cut smoother and quicker like a laser like a red laser lasers the red laser is hot it's hundreds of degrees burning hot 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 and a red laser is like a Super hot beam. I always thought the blue beam laser was cool. I always thought that. <laughs> but I know the red laser can be really hot. Why? Because the heat disinfects. Warms. Brings on the spirit of health, life, and healing. So what was meant to be a dagger of betrayal and coldness to bring on lifelessness and coldness and death. I coated it in warmth. I allowed it to cut through you to disinfect their sting. And I allowed the warmth to bring healing as they cut. I allowed that warmth to heal you. I allowed it to go through you. To disinfect their infectious intent. My viewers. And, and to heal you. Bring life. Now that the cut is done. And they've walked away. Which for the majority of you. They have. Now. We can heal. I said, we can heal. I didn't say you could heal. I said, I said, we, now we can heal. Great Spirit says, I'm here with you. I feel what you feel. Did you forget that we are one? That's why you call me the great I am. That's why you call me your higher self. Higher self. Self is you. I am you. So we, Great Spirit said, I love that so we can heal. We're going to heal together. I'm here. You just needed to see that this person betrayed you they hurt you and after they wounded you what they meant to they actually wounded you in a way that left you scarred for life which you, a lot of you don't know is that they meant to kill you they meant for this wound to really hurt you and to keep you depressed and down and to always make you feel a longing for them, to desire them, to want them, to think about them, to always love them. Because some people, you're narcissist. And others of the, others of the like, they need to leave you wanting them. They need to leave you hurting. They need to leave you feeling pain. They need to leave you desiring them. So they walk away. When you want them and need them the most. They're done with you. They get bored and they walk away. Why? Because they've got you wrapped around their finger. They've got your love. They achieved their goal. They just needed to stroke their ego by using your love to do it. And once they got you loving them so much that you couldn't see anything else, they walked away. Hence, they took the knife with them. Five of swords. 
Don't you understand that the five of swords means you betray yourself also? Because you're carrying the swords. That's why they took it with them. So they're betraying their self all the while betraying you. And everyone that they meet after you, they will betray them too. Because they're carrying those swords as a weapon. They, the five of swords, they carry three swords and two are on the ground as if to say you lose and I win. But the three swords that they carry represent heartbreak and pain, betrayal, mistrust, use and abuse. So they will carry that energy with them everywhere they go. They're not free from the pain they cause you. Oh no, my my people, they carry it. They they carry it with them. It's not gone from them. They may ignore it and pretend it isn't there in order to move into the next relationship. But until they put those swords down, Okay. They will carry that pain. They will hold all three swords, just like the card denotes, and they will continue on their path of destruction and mayhem and hurt with anyone else that they encounter. They have not grown spiritually yet. So they will continue their path of mayhem with whomever they meet. And if that person is not spiritually awake, Which they probably aren't. Hence the two swords that are left on the ground from the five of swords. Which means you're not seeing correctly. Okay? You're ignoring things. You're going to allow that person to hurt you. So your person of interest who hurt you and betrayed you, they carry that with them. That is who they are right now. Are my people understanding that? You, on the other hand, have warmth and healing that's been pushed into you with the knife from your betrayer. And that cut was a surgical cut. Do you understand that, my viewers? It was a surgical cut. I allowed it to cut into you. To cut into you so that we could surgically remove those old pain for memories, the scars that they left. Let's just let's just clean out that wound spiritually. Okay, it's gonna take a gauze pad and with some antibiotic. We're just gonna clean out that wound wound spiritually. Okay, that they left. We're gonna clean it out. That warmth that was coated on the knife is going to allow healing and life to penetrate into your flesh. And you're going to heal because I'm here to help you. Why? Because you're open to me. You're open to me. I can get to you. I can reach you. I can communicate with you. You're listening. I can heal you. I can't heal them. So they will continue on their rampage. You, however, have clarity, understanding. You are going to have peace. Because on the Four of Swords, the card, the person lies, they just lay there, they're lying in state. <laughs> and there's one sword that lays on the ground. While the other three swords stand above them, threatening them. They don't touch them. They just stand above them, threatening them. Those are the three swords that your person carry on the five of swords card. And that they don't touch you anymore. They just linger above you. 
as a reminder of what you went through. And then the one sword just lays on the ground. We'll call it the sword of surgery. And then you will rest, says the four swords. You will heal from this incident. All will be well soon. You just needed to understand that that betrayal needed to be seen and experienced so you will no longer desire a connection with that person. You will no longer reach out for hope for that person. You will no longer ask, do they love me? Do they want me? Do they need me? Do they care? You needed to see for yourself where they stood mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. They didn't. And it is time for you to understand that healing is here. Accept it. As they go on in their karmic journey, you can choose to end the cycle of pain. You can choose to accept what you know, to accept what you what you've come to know. Understand that you're not at fault. Only for what you chose not to see. That is what you would be responsible for. Only for what you chose not to see. What you chose not to accept. That is what you would be responsible for. You are responsible for your healing in this case also. If you allow me, Great Spirit says, I can heal you. Are you going to allow me to do that? Some of you still hurt from a betrayal. I could feel the, the hate and disdain. I could feel the energy of someone that doesn't care for you and love you the way you deserve. Someone that just didn't care for you. They could have lied, could have had someone else. Could have been with someone else. They could have used you until they got back to the person they really loved. There are several scenarios. There are many scenarios that could have fallen under this, this category, this situation. There, there are many scenarios that could have fallen under this. Do you understand, my viewers, that when you are at the doctor... And you need a surgical procedure. If you're hurting and you're in pain, do you understand that the doctor used knives? Small, which is a small sword, to, to start the surgical process? Needles, which is a small sword. <laughs> and you fear that sword. Oh my God, here comes a needle. I don't want it. But the doctor says, listen, we've got to inject this needle into you. The doctor says, I'm going to, I'm going to inject you with the medication. Some of you, they're going to numb you. Some of you, they're going to do different things. And that's going to start the process of healing. Okay. We're going to use this knife to cut out what doesn't belong. And any of you who've had surgery, surgery, or dental surgery, any type of surgery, no, it is not fun. It hurts. But once that knife is done, cleaned up, cleaned out, cleaned up, medicated and patched up, so that you can what? So that you can start fresh and heal. So this knife that went into you, I'll say again, which was used for the purpose of hurting you. 
that betrayal. Oh no, that person was just used spiritually by spirit to surgically open up your flesh to clean out the infection, medicate, patch up, patch up that wound so that you can heal. That's all that was. They didn't realize it. They thought they were hurting you. They thought they were leaving you in the dust, betraying you for something or someone else. Oh no, great spirit said I allowed them to to, to, to stick you and then walk away. They were just part of the surgery. I just allowed them to do that so that you could see that they were using you and hurting you. Once they removed that sword, I just cleaned you out and cleaned you up. They didn't realize that that sword was giving you life. That's why I put the warmth around it. That sword went into you. It was giving you life. It was pushing heat and light into you. They were just pushing it down further into your flesh. They were just used. While they were using you, <laughs> I was using them. <laughs> Did you get that, my people? <laughs> Great Spirit is so clever. While they were busy using you, I was busy using them. To cut out what no longer belonged in you. To cut out what doesn't belong. What, to cut out what didn't belong in you anymore. A desire for them. Wanting them. Allowing them to use you. To, to cut out that infection. Okay? Attachment, addiction, and dereliction, abuse and misuse. See, I just use that, I just use their knife to do the cutting. <laughs> Wait till I use that knife to turn and, and, and it turns on them and I have to cut them open to do surgery. Oh, how much? Boy, that's going to hurt so much. But you may, you, you may not be around to see that. We're not always around to see karma. But it's always working. It's always in effect. You're not always around to see other people's karma. The spirit said, don't you worry. I'm working behind the scenes. You just won't see it. But I'll, 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 I'll work my magic. Oh, just you wait. Just you wait. I'll do for them what I did for you. Oh, but it's going to take time. Harder. They're harder to reach. You, you, you were open to this. You were ready. They're closed off. They don't want anybody to. They're holding the swords so that I can't use it. You know, they're, they're holding them so that no one else can get them. But they've got them to use against others. But they won't let me use it against them. Why? That's why they're holding them. You know. You're not holding the swords. You are open. That's why I'm a father of swords. There's two swords on the ground. Because you, you're not holding your swords anymore. Why? Because you open yourself up to me. I could get to you. I could get to you. Because you were operating in love. Even though it was misguided love. Are my viewers getting that? You were still operating in love. So because you, you, you have to open yourself up as the love card says. Right? Open yourself up to love. You can't do closed heart surgery. Doctors do open heart surgery. You have to open the heart to get in there to do the surgical procedure. 
But in order to do that, the doctor's got to use a knife to cut you open first. Oh, then the surgery can begin. Hmm. The hate won't last. You won't feel it forever, my viewers. That that hate, that disdain, that dislike, that that love, that unrequited love that you felt, that won't last forever. You'll know about it, but it'll be a distant memory someday. You'll understand it better in time. No, you don't. All of you don't understand why. Spirit says, I just had to show you. I don't want you to keep loving someone who's closed off and doesn't love you. I want you open to real love. I want you open, but only open to those that are intending on healing you. Only open to those that are going to pour love in you. A doctor cuts you open in order to heal the heart, heal the body. Okay? And you're on life support while they have you open. Okay? I am your life support, says Source. I am the breath at which you breathe. I am here breathing breath into your lungs, breathing life into your lungs. I am your source. I am your warmth. Every time you step out into the sun, think of me. Think of me healing you. If you look up at the sun, let that let the sun coat your whole face. Let it just warm your whole face. Think of me, think of that warmth that the sun naturally gives you as me healing you. Think of yourself being sun-kissed because I'm going to coat you with warmth like I coated that knife. And the warmth that the sun gives is my love for you. That warmth represents love and light. Peace, blessings, and strength. <laughs> I hope my viewers understand this. You say, but they're gone. They've walked away and I don't feel loved. I feel alone. I feel betrayed. I feel miserable. Spirit says, I'm here. I'm here. I love you. I want you to turn your attention away from that person for a moment. And I want you to look up at the sky. If you're in the house, look up at the ceiling. I want you to look up. Look up at the sky if you're outside and just look up at the universe and just surrender to the universe's power. Surrender to the universe's love for you because it's great. It's grand. If you would just surrender your heart to me first. Feel my love first. And then you will align yourself only to those that love you. When you feel my love that will come in through your crown chakra, down through the body, let it hit the heart chakra, let it go on through. When you feel my love, you will recognize that love within others. But I need you to allow me to tap into you first. Because when you recognize my love for you and how vast and deep it is, you can recognize that love easily in others the like attracts like
But if you don't feel me and you reach out to others for love, you may not get it the way you want. You may get betrayal. Because you don't see my love in them. You don't see it in you. How can you see it in them? You will only be attracted to the light and the love that I bestow on you. The rays of love that come down on you. You will only be attracted to the light. And love in others. You will not be attracted to the dark coldness in others. You will only be attracted to the love. Because I will make it so. I just needed to expose that betrayal to you first. And for you to understand it. I hope this makes sense. Magician is reversed. Ten of Wands is reversed. And the King of Wands. Ah. And the Seven of Wands is reversed. only be attracted to the light and the love and the happiness of those that mean well you will not be attracted to those that don't love you any longer this is going to start in your heart it's going to start now and the process will grow within the year of 2021 my viewers you will slowly start to feel a change of energy Slowly, That's why the magician is reversed. Because you do not operate in your power yet. But you will let go. Ten of Wands reverse of that which does not serve you. The Ten of Cups says happiness. Total happiness. And an open heart energy will, will reign emotionally. You will feel it. The burden will release Ten of Wands reverse. And the King of Wands says you will only be attracted to those that bring positive energy and actions towards you. I hope this was helpful. I do thank you for joining me today. I'll have much more for you. I am your host, Super Tea Reader. Until next time, my people, relax, my viewers. And I'll see you again.